So guys, I'm about to show you how you can fully optimize your Windows PC for gaming in 2023 with a bunch of simple tweaks, which I'm going to show you right now. I already made here a full entire pack for you guys, which is going to help you out to really get maximum FPS in all the games that you want to play. We're going to disable basically all the bloatware of our PC, optimize our CPU, then we're also going to optimize our GPU, and finally even make our input devices more responsive. You can by the way find this whole entire pack on my official website, it's going to be the first link in the description, and we're going to first of all begin with a Windows 10 D bloater. You're going to open this up guys from here you have a following link which you're going to copy then you're going to go into a browser paste it in there and it should look exactly like this here we have first of all here now the windows 10 deep loader we're just simply going to click on the code and then you can actually download it straight up here from the website it should then look exactly like this here guys in here now we have a few different files but what we actually want to do is click on a windows 10 deep loader gui right click onto it and run it with powershell you should then see after a few seconds that it's going to open up and what we can do from here guys is basically remove all the bloatware of our windows which is basically stuff like additional applications, icons which are on the taskbar or in the windows menu itself, built-in ads which are also a huge part of windows actually once you're going to take a look at the right side you know those are like ads basically and all of these processes running in the background are super hardware demanding so therefore what you can do in the first place is click on the customize block list and there you can go through it step by step and hand pick exactly which ones you want to disable but what we want to do instead guys is just simply click under remove all bloatware you're going to click onto it once and then you can let it run here basically in the background and now it actually removed a whole bunch of stuff from my PC something like suggestions on the start menu then we have something like people icon and taskbar you can see just simply all of these processes which you never really utilize but they're still pre-built on your Windows PC slowing it down Next up, we also have a few additional steps here, something like Cortana, which is this voice assistant. Nobody really uses it, so therefore I'm going to click on Disable, and it's going to actually disable Cortana from my PC. And then you can see on the top bar, guys, now Cortana has been disabled. Super easy like that as well. Then we can also fully uninstall actually OneDrive, which is this cloud service, which we can also just like that here uninstall real quick. And now you can see OneDrive has been successfully uninstalled, which is amazing. And then finally, what we want to do, guys, is click under Disable Telemetry Task. We're going to click onto it once, and those additional processes, which are also now being disabled in the background, something like your location tracking, you know? All of these processes where basically Windows is just collecting data from your PC and sending it to Microsoft. We want to avoid this guys, so therefore now the telemetry has been disabled and we can close this now and we're done with the first step. Just simply click onto it here under the X and we're good to go. Now we're actually going to continue with the second one guys, which is going to be a CPU unpark tool. I'm going to explain this real quick. You're basically just again going to copy the following link, go into a browser, paste it in there real quick. And now we're going to get redirected to the next site, which is going to be Coderback. We're just simply going to scroll down a little bit, guys. And this is exactly a tool which we're going to be using, CPU Unpark. Actually, also make sure to not click here actually under Get Quick CPU, because we want to go down here and search for the latest version of this specific tool and click under Download. And once you get it then on your PC, it should look exactly like this here. And what it basically does is, guys, every CPU has enabled cores and parked cores. As an example now, if you maybe have a CPU with maybe like, I don't know, 8 cores, 16 threads, for whatever reason, actually, some of your cores might be parked and your CPU can only utilize 4 or 6 of them. This is basically depending which power plan you're actually utilizing on your system and what it's set to. And usually in Windows, it's quite hard to kind of find this option because you got to go like basically into your power energy settings and there you can see then your processor state which you can put to 100% and as well equivalently your cores. But with this tool, you can do it with one click, guys, and it's really, really easy. You can right now you see what you want to make sure in the first place guys is go under system power plan and make sure to select the ultimate performance plan yeah if you don't have it i'm gonna put right now your on screen actually a comment and the comment is also gonna be in the description below we just simply have to go into your cmd real quick run it as an administrator and paste it in there and then you will find this ultimate performance mode this is the one which you actually want to select guys for the best performance and then you got to go under core parking index and then you got to put it all the way to the right side to unpark make sure you click first of all under unpark all and then under apply and now you can see usually okay this is now a bad example with my pc because i'm running an i9 13th gen this is by any means a normal cpu so therefore guys you can take this as an example you can see i have right now 20 cores enabled and 12 of them parked i'm just saying this is not a good example but usually if you have a little bit more common cpu maybe something like a ryzen 5 ryzen 7 you should have all of your cores now enabled on the top guys but at the moment my system can't even utilize more than 20 cores so therefore the other ones are still theoretically parked because i guess windows isn't made to utilize so many cores at the same time but as mentioned if i would use it here something like on my budget pc which i have here on the right side there all of my cores on this ryzen 7 5800x would be unparked and this is exactly what you want to achieve guys because parked cores are just simply not working in the background 
and especially for most games nowadays or even tests no matter if it's Adobe Premiere Pro or gaming you want to have as many unpacked cores as possible. Then you're gonna close this and we continue. And as a quick extra tip guys, if you're struggling with ping and all of your favorite games, you can actually try out the GR Booster for absolutely free guys. The link is gonna be in the description. You can basically select one of your favorite competitive games, just simply connect to it. And the GR Booster is gonna make sure that you have the lowest ping possible guys. You can see I have only 10 milliseconds latency, which is insane. It's going to show you directly the connection between your PC and the router. And then finally also your router and the actual game server. GR Booster is continuously gonna look for the best server in your near guys to provide you with the least amount of ping. And as mentioned, try it out for absolutely free with the link link in the description. Next up now guys we have the MSI mode utility. You're going to open this up again, copy the following link then you're gonna post it in here real quick and for some reason you can really only get this tool of reddit. You don't have to be logged in or anything guys and there we have it the MSI mode on GPUs. They're just simply gonna scroll down make sure to open this up and there we should now have here actually our MSI utility link from where you can get it directly and once you get it on your PC, this is exactly how it should look like. What you want to make sure in here, guys, is basically put your GPU to MSI mode. This has nothing to do with the brand. This is only to do with the communication time between your GPU and your CPU. And you want to make sure to actually find your GPU in here, which for me is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, which you can select here. And what you want to make sure is that it says line based. You can only utilize this if it says line based, but literally any GPU from even over a decade ago should be totally fine with this. It says, you know, line based MSI and what you want to make sure is that the MSI mode is actually enabled and then you go under interrupt priority and actually put it to high guys. This is exactly what you want to set up. This is super, super important. And trust me, this is going to provide you with a lot more stable performance and lower latency in all of your favorite games. Because the MSI mode is so much faster than the normal one, how basically your GPU and your CPU are communicating. You definitely want to make sure to apply this one here and click and apply real quick and it's already done. You're good to go and we can already close this tool here. And then last but not least, we're going to open up the mouse OC tool. I just call it like this because you can basically sort of overclock actually your peripherals. And what you want to make sure from here is again, click on the following link, go under code and then click under download. Then once you get it, we're actually going to open up now here, Hedus BF. And then you're gonna click under setup. And once we actually launch now Hedus BF, this is exactly how it should look like. You're gonna go under devices and make sure to select all of them. And what it can basically do, let's just say as an example, that you get a brand new mouse and keyboard set. And for whatever reason, they're not set to a thousand hertz. Just to put it in perspective, sometimes you can even buy keyboards or mice on the market, which are only set to 125 hertz, which is seven milliseconds slower than something like a thousand hertz. And this is exactly what you wanna achieve, guys. You can basically overclock any components to make sure that they're as responsive and fast as possible. What you can do now from here is guys, if you have the same issue as me that you may be using a custom keyboard, it's not gonna directly say something like Razer keyboard, Steel Series keyboard, Logitech, all of that. You kinda have to click through it and try to figure out exactly which one is your keyboard. So I'm just gonna go here now over to keyboards and then I have three different selections. What you wanna make sure is basically click on the first one, then click under restart and once you realize if you press your Windows key, okay, I can still use it, so I know this one is actually not my keyboard. Let's try the second one. I press the Windows key, I can still use it, so I know, okay, the second one is also not my keyboard. So theoretically, the third one has to be my keyboard now. I'm not gonna do it since I already set it to a thousand hertz, like I know this one here specifically is my custom keyboard. So what you wanna do is make sure to select the one where you then kinda know, okay, this is gonna be my keyboard because we tried out all the other ones. And then you gotta set actually the rate to a thousand hertz, guys. Then you gotta go under install service real quick, then under restart and then you should see real quick that your keyboard is gonna light up and now you know once you actually close it and reset your PC your keyboard is set to a thousand hertz pulling rate which is gonna make it so much faster than maybe 125 or 500. If you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to check out the two videos which are right now on screen as well.